Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the cabin. We've actually got a really big day today. Um, I mentioned in the last video how I had an idea to reinforce that corner post uh, beyond what I had done. And it may be a little bit of an overkill, but before I get that side closed up with rock, I need to go ahead and do whatever I'm gonna do now. Anyway, it's gonna require the use of a welder, so uh, that's something that I don't have. So when I get my coffee finished and have my morning pick me up, uh, we'll head up to my neighbor's house and we'll get started.
Well, folks, I actually officially have this uh, post repaired. Uh, the best that I can do it, I actually went on the inside and put two true 4x4s, one on this side, one on this side of the post, and then these brackets that I made, I went ahead and crawled onto the house. I've got those bolted on and secured. Uh, this bolt was the original anchor bolt down here, so I'm going to get it cut off. But I'm fixing to take this roofing cement and go over the bottom portion of this and bring it out on the footer. Uh, so that will hopefully take care of any water that could ever get behind there um, next to the post so that I can go ahead and finish this knee wall.
Okay, guys. Uh, neighbors helping neighbors, right? I guess. <laughs> Seems like it's a one-way deal. Always. <laughs> I always wake up dreading listening to the little single-engine thing coming up the road. <laughs> He's talking about the uh, four-wheeler. Um, yeah, I called him. I have all those trees that I pulled up there and we haven't sharpened it. He really does a good job because that thing hasn't been sharpened in what, a year? Yeah, at least. And I've probably used it, well you guys know, countless times. And it still works good, but I thought with all these trees that I've got to do that um, it, I would be better off to bring it up here and let him sharpen it again. For some reason I can't put an edge on it, um, but he can, so that's the reason that we're up here. Pretty good, except for that gap you know. Them flushes where it skips. Mm -hmm. That's where you get it. Hey, what are we doing? That was my line. I am picking probably the last of the green beans that we're going to get. It is humid out here today, but what are we doing? Now y'all, these are a little bitty, but we don't care, we're gonna can them. How many did you pull off last week? I don't even know. That thing, yeah. that thing had about 20 hanging on it, didn't it? Uh-huh, it still got them too. Well guys, we finally got all of that garden picked. I actually got a couple of really nice bell peppers right here. Jennifer was sitting here snapping some beans and she just wanted to jump on here and say, hey, what we doing? Yeah. No. Yeah. He beat me. Hey, what we doing? No. Hey, why did the skeleton opt not to go to the dance? I don't know why. The crowd's going to go wild because he didn't have anybody to go with. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, why was the gardener so excited about spring? Because he got to wet his plants. <laughs> yeah. He there was you go. so excited he wet his plants. Yes, he was. He was so excited he wet his plants. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to get gone to go can. Dad is going to go out back and debark some of the wood that's going to go on the knee wall. 
But I do want to say this, the wonderful foot ad that you all seen in Wednesday's video on the Outpost Review, that was from my Uncle Mark, who generously gave that to my dad. So Thursday's we, video. Thursday's yeah, video. Yeah, we changed it up. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Thursday's video. Um, so we want to so graciously say thank you because... Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, Dad is so excited. So. And then her mom, Jennifer's mom, gave us that uh, sigh or the Sith, you know, for... That uh, big thing. Yeah, mowing down uh, weeds or what people use to cut hay with. And anyway. listen, Dad's so excited, he's already found a piece of wood that looks just like the one that he's going to repurpose on the sigh. So, it's time to get busy. I'll yep. see you guys next time. You want to go to the creek? having a problem with this one wheelbarrow right here because every time I want to tip it up this bracket on the end wants to go forward and it ends up being up against the wheel and I can't push the wheelbarrow so we're going to fix that
now these pieces of wood will keep that metal piece from flipping up and when I flip it over to dump it out it should actually hit these wood blocks first because they're actually a little bit farther ahead than uh, that piece of metal right there well it's supposed to start raining here pretty soon but it's only supposed to last a couple of hours and then it's supposed to clear off this afternoon and we'll have a couple of days of sunshine so I need to really try and get the rest of this side completely rocked because I've got a phone call from the guy that operates the excavator and he said that he would come up here we would pull all this rock out take some of the topsoil that I've got uh, still saved and we would actually bank it away from the house and that would take care of this side it would be permanent then he'll dig a ditch between the woodshed and the tiny house that will take care of any water that may come off that way and now that I've got this slope going behind the cabin anything that comes down off the bank will run that way but I still have to build a retaining wall to keep all of that shale and stuff at bay uh, so that it doesn't fill up that ditch so that's what I'm going to be working on the next video because I've got to get this done in the next couple of days anyway guys appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us we hope each and every one of you have a fantastic day you all take care and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time